So I'm doing this video while I'm eating breakfast, so don't mind me. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, a biscotti, a biscuit, whatever you have, and sit and stay a while. So this is my son when he was in second grade. Isn't he cute? He's going to be a sophomore in high school this year, so this is like a throwback. To do something a little bit different that I haven't tried before. Um, I actually got this idea from Rose Di Lorenzo. Um, I really enjoyed her 10 random facts about herself. Um, if you haven't checked out her channel, I suggest you do so, but of course, after you finish watching this video. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna jump right into this. 10 random facts about myself, just so you can get to know me a little bit better. In the comments below, leave me a random fact about yourself. I love learning about others and I hope that other people will do this on their channel. I wanna get to know everybody. Okay, so I have my list on my laptop. So if I keep looking over this way, it's because I'm reading. Okay, so fact number one. My husband tucks me in every morning. I know that seems backwards, usually it would be like at night, but he gets up and leaves for work about an hour or so before I get out of bed. So every morning after he gets ready for work and just before he leaves for the day, he'll come and tuck me in and say good morning and goodbye and then he leaves. And sometimes I just, it comes up in conversation, I mention it to people and they're like, your husband, what? I'm like, yeah, I love it. I love to be tucked in. It just makes me enjoy the last stretch of my sleep. Fact number two, and I mentioned before that I have kids. Um, I don't know specifically if I said that they're boys. I have two of them. Um, I have a almost eight-year-old who will be entering the third grade in August, and then I also have a 14-year-old who will be a high school sophomore in August. So they are my world, my days revolve around them. Um, they're my everything, I love them. Both of the boys play baseball, so especially during season, it eats up a lot of our time. Um, also, the oldest, he plays the trumpet and the tuba um, in his high school's marching band. So in the fall, that takes up a lot of our time. That's marching band season. Um, so yeah, they keep me plenty busy. Okay, random fact number three. Let's see, where am I at? Reading, I love to read. That is one of my favorite ways to spend my free time. Uh, so far this summer, I'm on my fifth book. Um, what am I starting next? I just got a new one from an old friend. It's kind of random, but I started this like book exchange club on Facebook. And so I invited all my Facebook friends to join me. And a girl I went to high school with joined and she lives a few cities south of me. Um, and so I had posted, hey, have these three books up for trade. And she had some books that I was interested in. I have not seen this girl in 18 years. So yesterday we met up to exchange our books. It was so great to see her. Um, kind of crazy though, like how 18 years goes by and then it's like, hey. <laughs> My favorite kind of books to read are the ones that become major motion pictures. I love to read the book and then watch the movie. Um, it just gives me a better visual. I like to compare the similarities and the differences and then just kind of judge, I guess, um, how well they portrayed the book. It gives, I have friends that enjoy reading, so it's always fun to like talk about. Okay, so where am I? Five? Four? Wait. One, two, three, four. I'm on number four. Um, this one's kind of crazy. Back in high school, I was questioned by the police in a murder case. And I know that sounds crazy, like, you what? But it really wasn't. It was, but it wasn't. Um, so, unfortunately, it was a really, really sad story. Very tragic. Um, I went to high school with a girl that was murdered. Um, she was found dead, strangled by her own bra um, on a construction site. And I did have one class with her during that year when she disappeared. She went missing for a couple weeks before they found her body. And so one morning I was at home and the phone rings and I answered it and it was Sergeant whatever from the police department and he was looking for me. And I was like really confused, like why would the police want me? Um, I think I was like 17 or 18 at the time. 
And so I was like, uh, speaking. And he was saying, so this girl went missing. Um, what do you know about her? And she was a girl that I did have a class with. The class that I had with her was a silent reading class. So basically we went in, we sat down, we all read independently a book of our choice, a magazine, whatever, for 30 minutes and then we left. That was the class. So we were supposed to be silent and doing our own thing. So I never... Um, we didn't have any mutual friends. I never really spoke to her. So I explained to him like there were a few times that I did speak to her and it was something so um, insignificant. Like if I held the door open for her when she was entering the classroom, um, she would say thank you or vice versa. And so that was pretty much it. And the phone call ended and I never heard any more about it. But that experience, I remember I was shaking when I hung up the phone like, oh my God. Um, but I get it. They have to question everybody who came into contact with her. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who got a phone call that day. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, they found her body a few weeks later and she, um, she was murdered. It was pretty crazy. Okay. Five. Number five. I kick ass at words with friends. This is my all time favorite game. I've been playing it for about 10 years and I was good 10 years ago, but now I'm even better. I have strategies that I use. Um, I do lose sometimes, but for the most part, I would say 90% of the games I play, I win. I'm very, very competitive. If I don't have like what I feel is a good move, I will take days to make a move. I will study the board. I'll come back to it several times a day. And then, you know, your game will expire after, I don't know, six or seven days. Sometimes I wait that long. If I can't find the move that I'm looking for, um, then of course I'll make my move just before the game expires, but I am like extremely competitive. So if you're into that game and you want to play me, let me know. <laughs> okay, number six. And this one, this random fact about myself was brought to my attention by my 14 year old son. He said, you get hangry easily and that I will agree with. Hunger pain is the worst pain. I would rather deal with a paper cut all day than feel hunger pain once. Um, I eat often. I eat every two to three hours. My portions aren't like full on meals. I snack. Um, I try to make healthy choices, but hunger pain is just something I cannot deal with. Um, it's really weird too because sometimes I don't even feel hungry and I start getting grumpy and my husband will be like, when's the last time you ate? And I'll be thinking, oh, it's been a while. And he's like, you need to eat. And as soon as I eat a little something, I'm like, oh, I feel so much better. Like I'm me again. <laughs> Seven, I was named after my grandma. Um, our name is Patricia. Both of us hate our names. Neither of us use our names. I mean, we use a variation of the name. So my grandma goes by Patty. I go by Trisha. Um, but I do refer to her and I as the Patricias. I feel like Patricia is such an old fashioned name. I don't know why my mom would name me that. Like, I felt like she couldn't be creative enough to like think of a name for myself. So she was just like, oh, I'll just use your name. So when I had my boys, I was so adamant that like, these boys are not going to be juniors. They're going to have their own name, their own identity, because I know what it felt like. I don't know if everybody who's named after somebody feels that way. Like you didn't, you didn't put any effort in. <laughs> okay. Number eight, this is kind of a boring one. I admit I started running out of ideas. I started stretching, reaching for something. Um, number eight, my favorite food is sushi. I could live off sushi if I was put in a situation where they said pick one thing and that's the only thing you can eat for the rest of your life I would pick sushi um, any kind I, I'll take all of it um, it's so yummy it's so fresh it's healthy and I actually feel like once in a while my body craves wasabi I love that stuff I love how I feel like a dragon when I I eat too much and it just like comes out of my nostrils <laughs> it's like a really painful but pleasant feeling <laughs> Okay, nine. I don't have any ink tattoos. Um, I would say there was a time maybe in my early 20s where I considered it, maybe not seriously, but I'm like, okay, if I were going to get a tattoo, what would I get? I did have an idea. It's something that um, 
it has a meaning to me. But now I'm in my, God, this is so hard to say, but people would say I'm in my late 30s. So I feel like I didn't do it yet. So why now? I mean, I'm too freaking old for that. Um, however, I do have what's called a tooth tattoo. I work in dentistry. I don't see many of these. And I think maybe the reason I have one is because I work in dentistry and it was a thing for a short, short window. Um, so I don't even know if they still sell these, but you could order out of a dental catalog tooth tattoos. And basically what they are is really, really thin um, shapes made out of gold. And so your dentist prepares your tooth and they cement the little tiny gold piece onto your tooth. So I have a golden star up here. I'll try to show it to you. Um, but I had a three quarter gold crown placed on the tooth a few years before it. So on the edges, it's still my natural tooth and it's had a root canal. So it's kind of gray, but I'm like, well, let's, it's a perfect spot for it. Nobody's gonna see it. It's a conversation piece. Um, it's kind of fun. Um, like we got a new hygienist and she was cleaning my teeth and I had never told her and she's like working along and she's like, what is that? And she, it was kind of fun. She was like, I've never seen one of those. Anyway, okay, I'll try to show you. Right there is my golden star. Kind of cute. Okay, number 10, random fact number 10. Sleep is a big priority um, for myself. I try to average eight to nine hours of sleep a night. And some people are, especially my sister, she's like, you sleep how much? Um, I feel like I require that to fully function to the best of my ability. I just, my body needs that. I'm a early riser, which means I am, I go to bed early. So it is not unusual, especially in the winter when it gets dark early, it's not unusual for me to be in bed by 8 PM. Um, I do wake up early, usually by five. Um, even on the weekends, I like to be an early riser this morning. I set my alarm because I knew that I was tired. I have the potential to like oversleep. So I will on even on my days off, I'll set my alarm. I'll get up at, I think today it was before six, but it was almost six when I finally opened my eyes. But I just like to get up before the rest of the house. I like to enjoy my coffee in peace. I like to watch the sunrise. I like to get things done like mopping the floors um, before the boys come out of their rooms. It's just a nice way to start your day. If you've never tried to wake up before the sun, try it. I think it will, it's life changing. It really is. So that was it, my 10 random facts about myself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you'll consider doing a video um, like myself and Rose DiLorenzo did. Um, I love learning about people and I'm looking forward to watching your videos. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. Um...